Let's say you've recorded or have an existing song and now you'd like to create a slideshow using lots of images and maybe even some video. If you've done this in the past you know that adjusting the position of all those images and video clips can be very tedious and time-consuming. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to automatically beat sync your images and video to the existing audio along with a few more cool tricks that will significantly reduce the time it takes to create a great video slideshow. From the new project box, choose Build Loop and Beat Matched Music. This will turn on Auto Beat Match Mode. Alternatively, if you are already within a different project type, you can just go to the Project tab and click the Auto Beat Match button. I'm going to add a song that I've already recorded by using the add sound function. I'm going to right click on track one and select add sound file or you can simply double click on it. And the sound is in a different tempo than your project. For the very best in sound quality, would you like to change your project tempo to match the sounds? This will switch it to a tempo of 129 beats per minute, and yes I do. I'm also going to trim off the silence at the start of that song. Now I'm going to add a video track. Insert video track. And I'm going to right click on the video track and choose add still images and I'm going to add all these images by clicking on the first one and then holding the shift key on my keyboard and clicking the last one and then click open. I'm going to zoom out, select all of them and then move them all the way to the left. At this point we've got a few options. Notice I am in time mode rather than beats mode. So if I go to video align clips, I'm going to get this box which allows me to specify the duration in seconds and milliseconds of each image. You can also specify the start time in minutes, seconds, and milliseconds, and how much of an overlap you'll have in seconds and milliseconds. Since I didn't select any of the images first, all clips is selected by default. If I cancel that and just select a few of them, then click video, align clips. The start time has moved to 1 minute and 16 seconds right where I stopped selecting. And our selected clips only radial button is now available. If I were to choose all clips right now it's going to move the entire thing down to a start time of 1 minute 16 seconds. So I'm going to hit control Z and undo that. Now I'll switch to beats mode click video, align clips, and I want to align all the clips. Here we have the duration, measures, beats, and fractions, the start time, measure, beat, fraction. I'm going to want the start time set at the first measure, first beat, and zero fractions. And I'll leave this at uh, duration being two beats, so it'll switch every two beats. Overlapping, you can set it in measures, beats, and fractions. Guess we'll raise that up about five fractions. Hit OK. And I'll zoom in so you can see that. Now if I play this, Notice that every two beats it switches images. A cool trick that we can do is after we've imported all of our images and our music you can hit video align clips and then fit to audio length and all clips and hit OK and now it has spaced out the images to match the length of the audio perfectly.
Now let's hit Control Z and undo that. And now I'm going to add a video clip. And this is a video clip of my daughter, which has nothing to do with this music, but it's great for an example. And I'm going to get rid of this audio that comes with the video clip by right-clicking on it. Choose Link and Unlink Selected Clips. Click on the audio and hit Delete. Remove that back up. Then I'll go back to Align Clips. And let's choose a duration again here. Let's go with four. And we want to adjust video clip lengths. Click OK. Now if I zoom in, you can see that that video is the same length as those image clips. You can also fit to audio length while video clips are inserted. Zoom back out for you. As you can see, there are some really cool features to help you align clips and create slideshows using images and video. And if you combine that with video text and scrolling text and effects, you can create awesome slideshows to go with your music. Thanks for watching and thanks for using Mixcraft.